Welcome to Order Prequalification at PowerNet's Partner Portal. The first step in prequalification will be to go to Customer Center, Order Entry. Once you are in the Order Entry piece, your first task is to do your service selection. I'm going to select Add to Cart on the hosted IPPBX business group. Once I have added that to cart, I'm ready to hit Next, as you'll see over here on the right-hand side. The next page, the order prequal starts. The first thing you will enter in order prequal is customer details. You will select your salesperson ID. You will type in the name. Let's say I'll do test user one that is located at 555 Governors Hill Drive in Cincinnati, Ohio 45249. Once I am finished with customer details, select next. The next step in order prequal is to enter your phone and seed information, virtual seed information, or any additional equipment if that is applicable. First step, new NPA and XX. I would like to request two new DIDs. I'm going to select area code 513645. And I would like to have a quantity of two. As you'll see, after I enter the quantity in NPA and XX, it will auto-populate what tier the DID is in. This is, di this is tier one. I do not want to port any DIDs. If I did, I would select here, but in this case, I'm going to select new DIDs. Port quantity is zero. The next step is to select, select what seats you want for these two new DIDs. I'm going to select standard seat unlimited, no term, with an unlimited rating. If you have metered available on your package, you would be able to select metered here. The next step would be select what phones you would like for these two seats. I'm going to select the Polycom VVX 400. The next would be virtual seat information. A virtual seat is used if there is not an outside DID that needs to be applied to the phone or to the auto attendant or to the hunt group. For this example, it's going to auto-populate a 555-200 DID and I need one of them. The tier does not matter because it's not a real number that can be accessed from the outside world and I'm also not porting any. The next would be the selector seat. In this case, I would like this number to be tied to an auto attendant, that automated receptionist. And I'm not going to have a phone assigned to it. However, let us, let's say I am a customer uh, call center representative. I do not want to receive calls from the outside world, but I just want to make calls. I don't need a real number assigned to my phone. They would also receive a virtual DID. So they can receive a 555-200 DID. I want one of those. I want that to be a standard seat. And I want to have a Polycom VVX 400. All this means is that phone cannot receive an internal call or receive a call from the outside world, but it can definitely make calls and may outpulse the main number of the organization or whichever business they are representing. Furthermore, if this user is to belong to a hunt group of, let's say, the main number of the organization, they may receive a 555-200 DID that will belong to that hunt group. So they may receive a call from the outside world if they belong to the hunt group, but cannot receive a direct inward dial call. The next step would be additional equipment. If you have additional equipment on your package, you could select your firewall or your switch here. And finally, additional features. This is where you select if you would like to have call recording on the line and how many you need. This is where you would select if you need to have uh, voicemail speech to text enabled on any lines and how many of those you need. After you are complete with the order prequal section here on the hosted IPPBX information, you will hit submit. After you hit submit, it'll bring you to the order pricing page, which we will cover in our next video.